Zion Williamson is back and he's better than ever. After being injured the entire season last year, so far early on into this season, he's been playing for the most part and he's looking great. Although he did just have somewhat of a minor injury in his last start. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Zion Williamson is in a very interesting position. He's clearly one of the more talented players in the NBA, and when on the court, he's living up to those high expectations he has, but also living up to that talent level that he does possess. Each and every night that he plays on the court, he just plays at such a high level. But the biggest issue with Zion is staying on the court, as I'm sure most of you watching this video already know. And when you're a player who's in that position where you're extremely talented, and when you're on the court, you're playing at a very high level, but it's difficult to stay on the court, that's just a terrible situation to be in. Of course, it would be a terrible situation for any player to consistently go through injuries, but especially when you're a player as talented as Zion is, it's just the worst situation ever. Because when it comes down to injuries, there's not that much you can do. There's certainly some things, like in Zion's case, I did make a video talking about certain things that he could do to help prevent injuries, like losing weight, which he has done, maybe also work on his legs and his lower half, which I'm sure he's also done. Another thing that he should look into would be to focus on recovery after each and every game and really each and every night which is another thing I'm sure Zion has been doing. Diet certainly plays a factor which once again I'm sure Zion has been focusing on but at the end of the day you can do everything right and you can still get injured so there's not necessarily all that much you can do to completely prevent it. And when you specifically look at Zion's build although it is a perfect build for the NBA it's not all that great for injuries and his build is certainly very susceptible to injuries. So the fact that he did take off a full season last year of course he was injured with a foot injury but he was probably out a little bit longer than he needed to be but due to the fact that he did take that full season off last year i do think that was beneficial for him hopefully he was able to fully heal and work on his body which he has done he certainly got into much better shape this season compared to where he was last and hopefully he also focused on recovery which i'm sure he did but the expectation going into this season would be zion would be relatively healthy nobody's expecting zion to play 80 two games of course but if you can play at least 70 65 games at least it certainly would be a step in the right direction but on the other hand if zion isn't able to stay healthy and let's say once again he only plays around 30 or 40 games this season then there would certainly be a major concern about zion going forward now of course there already are concerns about his injuries but if he goes another season without being relatively healthy it's certainly going to be a big concern going forward because at that point it would lead many to believe that zion wouldn't ever be able to stay fully healthy for a season. And if that were to be the case going forward, of course, that would be a huge negative for any team looking to sign him, or even for the New Orleans Pelicans at the moment. But so far this season, Zion has played great. Although he's only played three games, and in his third game, he did get injured, as I mentioned, he has played very well. And during the preseason, he also played well. So at this point, the concern is certainly not how will he come back from that foot injury that he dealt with last year. He's proved that he's still at a very high level. The concern is just how healthy can he stay this season and the injury that he did suffer in his last game is certainly not a positive by any means but at the same time i don't see it as a significant injury so hopefully zion could return from that injury in a week or so or maybe even less and just continue to play at that very high level that he was playing in the first three games of the season but now what are my personal expectations for zion this season and also going forward so as i mentioned before the expectations of many was zion would be on the court for the most part this season playing around 65 Five to 70 games. Now, in my opinion, my expectations are exactly the same. I would also expect Zion to play around 65 to 70 games. If he's able to play more, that's just a bonus. If he's not able to play that many games, of course, that would be a negative, but I would like to see how many games he plays. But in terms of on the court performance, I would certainly expect him to make the all star team this year, averaging around 25 plus points per game. In terms of on the court play, I would like to see him incorporate that three point jump shot or even a mid range jump shot. A 
little bit more within his game, but that's not necessarily something that he needs to have, of course, because thus far in his NBA career, he's basically been a guy that's just driving all the way to the basket, and he's been super effective in the past. So it's not like he needs that three-point jump shot to be as effective as he has been. Now, in terms of his passing and playmaking ability, that's certainly been a very nice bright spot based on the position that he does play, and I would expect him to continue to improve in that aspect of his game as well, although it already was very good. Defensively, I would like to see him make certain improvements in terms of on-ball defense. Off-ball defense, he has been very good. He's been phenomenal at getting those weak side blocks, but in terms of on-ball defense, there were certain times where he didn't play the best. But overall, in the long term, my expectations would certainly be for Zion to continue on this path in terms of the play on the court, of course not the injuries, but to continue on the path and just continuously get better season after season. And eventually, I certainly see Zion as being a top five player in the league, assuming he could stay healthy, but of course, that's always going to be the question that people bring up when talking about Zion Williamson. And that's a question that Zion's going to need to answer within the next few years. If he's able to stay relatively healthy this season, that would be a step in the right direction. And then if he keeps on that path and maybe plays even more games the season after, more the season after, then that would certainly answer a lot of the questions that many have about Zion, and he would certainly be headed in the right direction. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with Zion in the long term future. But now, what are my expectations for the New Orleans Pelicans as a whole? So my expectations for the Pelicans would be very tied to how healthy Zion stays. If Zion stays healthy, I certainly think the Pelicans have a very bright future with a team built around both Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram alongside with all the other young talented players they already have on the roster. I think this team is certainly one of the more talented young teams and certainly I would expect them to make the playoffs this season, get a little bit better the season after, get a little bit better until eventually they turn into a legitimate championship contender. I'm not expecting them to be that anytime soon, maybe within the next four or five seasons, but eventually I do expect them to get to that level. I think the talent that they have on the roster and the top end talent in Zion and Brandon Ingram is just very, very high level. But if Zion isn't able to stay healthy and the Pelicans either A, move on from him or B, he's just always on the bench, then I still think the Pelicans have a bright future because they do have Brandon Ingram alongside with a bunch of other nice young players, but I just don't see them ever getting to that championship contending level, unless they're able to bring in another superstar to put alongside Brandon Ingram. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans. One thing that I will say is I'm definitely very excited to see what happens with Zion. Hopefully for his sake, he's able to stay healthy, and hopefully for us fans, we're able to get treated with a full healthy career of Zion. Because he's proven that he's an extremely talented player, so it would really suck to see a player of that skill level have his career get cut short by injuries. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Zion Williamson is headed in the right direction, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy it, check one of these two videos popping up now. And until the next time, peace out, guys.